All right, thanks for that, Barry. We'll just start by opening up a handlebar assembly, which needs a little bit more work done to it. We want to create a clamp, so we'll use the new ST6 create in place command. It's just nice and streamlined, and I'll create that according to the origin. Just place the origin there and clamp. It creates it and brings us into the edit mode. Now in ST6, we've got we've got the ability to use faces from other parts in the assembly very very simply. You can see it's just very easy. Now I'll also grab an extrusion except this time I'll use the internal face loops of effectively the same faces and I'll use them just with the spacebar to cut out the bolt holes. Again, I'll use the same command, except I'll just show you the chains as well. I'll select the chains on the bottom of the bolt heads this time. Again, you know, I can toggle to remove that material, and there's my clamp. Now, the hole command now has an option to recognize holes. And what this does is it converts the recognized feature into a hole and lets you resize it in the same step. So you see in the tree, I've now got a hole feature resembling those holes. And lastly, I'll just add a nice little round onto that. So very, very quickly create new parts. Now this top here, I need to do a little bit of work to it because number one, you can see it has no underside to match the lip on the bottom part and it has no bolt holes. So let's just go in and we'll create a feature in place. ST6 has a new subtract command in the assembly environment. Okay, you can do it synchronously or ordered. And I want to subtract from this body this part here. And what that's done is you'll now see that the underside or the profile of the bottom part is now subtracted out and I've now got a matching lip around the bottom of that part. Next, I just want to put some holes in for these bolts. So we use the hole command. New to ST6 with assembly features is the ability to create part features. And these are features in the part and can be edited in the part. I'll just switch to wireframe so I can see better. And you'll notice in tools, I've got the ability to include peer edges. I'll just set my hole size. What this allows you to do is in the assembly, I can now snap two edges from other parts. There we go. Switch back to my normal view. I don't need to put the holes in the bottom piece because that's already done, so I just deselect that. And now I have these holes in my lid. That's quite quick and easy. Next, along a similar vein with using parts in uh, or other faces of parts, I'll just go in and edit this part and use a replace face command. Now previously, the face I was going to replace this one with would have to have already existed in the part. I couldn't use an assembly face. Now I can use a face from another part in the assembly. And I'll just add some rounds to make it all pretty. So it's very, very quick and easy to work in your assemblies and achieve a lot. Next, I'll just go change configuration. I might 
might not want, for example, a steel bolt rubbing directly on aluminium. I might want some bushes in here. So I go into my parts library and I'll use a new bush here. Now capture fit is quite a powerful tool just for simplifying the repetitive placement of parts. I've got my first part in there. I'll just drag it out of the tree again. And we want the first up there. And notice I'm only selecting the parts or the faces that I'm mating to. Just makes it very, very quick and easy replacing lots of parts. Now, obviously, I didn't have any holes for these bushes in the handle. So I've got to create you know, a, a matching feature. What I can do now with the subtract command is very, very simply remove from this part these two bodies. And effectively what that does, I'll just set a, uh, a plane there. It removed this portion of material out of the handle. Very, very quick very easy. So basically I'll turn everything back on and you can see the finished result. Oops, how about I just show all. So I've done quite a few edits there in very very short time. So that's just a quick look at some of the enhancements in the ST6 assembly. So I'll hand back to you now Barry.